So a lot of people will have heard about A, beta and tau as kind of the primary proteins that are affected in Alzheimer's disease. Now, for a long time, A, beta has been the focus of a lot of clinical trials and a lot of research because the genetics of Alzheimer's disease point very strongly to this protein and the pathway of proteins that produce it. So A beta is known when it accumulates um, to be quite toxic to synapses, and we believe it can also have other roles in Alzheimer's disease progression, such as changing the way blood vessels respond or angiogenesis, for example. But as many people know, a lot of the therapies targeting A beta, particularly in late stage of disease, haven't yet shown any of the cognitive benefits we would hope to achieve with um, a therapy targeting this protein. So as such, whilst we still believe that A-beta probably has an important role to play in Alzheimer's disease, it might be that this is at an earlier stage than we're currently able to target. So at the sort of trigger, if you like, as opposed to the actual smoking gun of the disease. So people are often looking sort of down the pathway in Alzheimer's disease um, to another protein called tau. Now, tau is a normal protein found inside all nerve cells that's responsible for Lots of different things, but one of them is moving things up and down the long axon that we find in nerve cells, so axonal transport. But throughout the disease, this goes from being a single protein, which is hanging along at the axon, to clumping together to form large aggregates inside the cell body. Now, we know that when tau clumps together like this, it can be very toxic um, and it can induce a lot of different things, both at the synapse and also potentially with the immune system. But what we also don't know is how we should target that protein in terms of understanding for disease mechanisms. So whether getting rid of toxic tau is possible um, or whether we should be getting rid of all tau. Now, what we don't know yet is that when tau clumps, does that disrupt some normal functions of tau, which is also really important for us to make sure we're not going to disrupt in any therapies. So ultimately, looking at both how A beta and how tau can affect the brain during Alzheimer's disease, and particularly the synapse, we might be able to develop therapies that target the toxic aspects of both whilst maintaining normal physiology as well.